Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. The new musical, Bring It On, has come to Broadway's St. James Theatre, and I'm here on opening night to celebrate with the company. We gotta leave behind the world we know. For years, I had been thinking cheerleading and a musical would work together, and then only when my agent called and said, they're doing a Bring It On musical, and Andy Blankenbuehler is directing, and I loved Andy's work on In the Heights, That's, I didn't, I'd never met him, uh, you know, that, I was like, okay, this sounds interesting, and then at the first creative meeting, after we'd assembled this incredible team of people, just really the nicest people, uh, the producers said, we are open to doing an original story instead of basing it on any of the movies. So, you know, that for me opened up this whole world of possibility to do an original musical. And so many people will come in thinking it's, it's you know, it's another one of those movie to musical musicals, but it's not. It's an original story and one that I think we all care very deeply about. So the project came to me uh, and they said, you know, go do whatever you want with it. And I said, I want to bring all of my friends on board. And so we got all these great people to together who we were all social friends even if we had worked together uh, and we just dove in and had a great time we decided to say you know let's do this from scratch let's do our own version of bring it on uh, and that's just where we jumped off from yeah Andy was a full-on Yenta on this project he, he, he really was like hey what if you worked with Tom and Jeff and Amanda I mean it was a dream team and it was a room anyone would want to be in if, if you know if they're writing musicals today and so I was just thrilled to be in the room uh, it's it's really been extraordinary uh, it's it's a, a phenomenal room of artists and um, every show finds its way and, and certainly we came in with certain uh, guidelines and, and then those all went away and everybody just kind of worked on the same part of the show together um, and we really figured it out together. It was, it was quite a collaboration. Well, you know, at first we divvied it up a little bit, like you handle one school, you handle the other school. And you know, the more we worked, everything just crossed over. Everybody contributed to the other person's music. Um, and then in the end, it was a melting pot. Everybody was doing everything. And it was a tremendous group to be around. You know, the, the, the 6 p.m. to 11 p.m., midnight, one in the morning, we're all working together finding brand new stuff together. It's been great. Exactly. Like we sort of hopped onto each other's songs, start first in a more formal way, and then as we got more comfortable working with each other, and as our goal became to tell the same story, we all were much more in the room trying to figure out how to tell the story, and it was much more a unified voice rather than... Yeah, it's cliche, but it's the story of the show. It's together we can create something bigger than ourselves, and, you know, Andy had such a strong vision, and Jeff had such a strong vision of what the story was, that it became, you know, it really became a team effort, uh, you know, through every note of the music. Because we went on this tour and we had no idea how the audiences would react to this new piece. And um, obviously I think we did pretty well because we made it here and it's been a two and a half year journey and it's been an amazing, hard hard journey and we're here and I'm so elated and happy and happy that everyone that was on the tour is with us today. It's really, really special. It's it's such a relief in some senses because we've been developing and, and hoping for so long that this would ultimately happen for us. But it's also personally so satisfying because I've been with this piece from the beginning, from its very first reading and it's the first time for me of seeing a piece all the way through to the end and it is it is such an incredible sense of accomplishment and also so miraculous to see what the rest of this company has done and been able how they've been able to grow and we've grown together and what we've all learned to do together. It's it's pretty spectacular what's happened in this 36 member company in over the last two years and, and it is it is definitely something to be celebrated. I'm really glad that we get to celebrate tonight. And this is just such an incredible opportunity and um, Andy has made it such an incredible show and all the creatives made such an incredible show for all of us to just like live in the show and show what we're best at and just create the characters around that. It's very unconventional to do a 12 city tour and then come into Broadway but having 
an entirely young and fresh company. I can't, in retrospect, imagine having done it any other way because they've gone from really green and really talented to seasoned professionals. And what you saw tonight is a reflection of that. I was in college a year ago and I was a theater student going to see Next to Normal, going to see In the Heights from the front row. I won the lottery. I saw Lynn Manuel. And um, to be working with them and to be colleagues, it's just, uh, I never, ever could have seen this happening. It's a dream come true. Gosh, it's my Broadway debut along with 30 some odd other cast members and it was absolutely surreal. Um, I've been with the show for two and a half years, so culminating in a Broadway run, I'd say, is pretty freaking cool. I remember back when I was three, just wearing my little tap shoes, like, and then the moment I saw my first Broadway show, like, there's got, uh, so, been so much that's gone into getting to this point, and I'm so thankful. So, so thankful to be here with this amazing cast and creative team. I am so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. It's my Broadway debut, and I'm originating in a principal role on Broadway with, like, Andy Blankenbuehler and Lin-Manuel Miranda, Amanda Green, and Tom Kitt, and, uh, oh my god, just the team, Jeff Witte, like, it's so... It's, it's a dream come true. I got I got to pinch myself literally. Like I can't believe that I'm right here in this moment right now. We've worked on this for so long, literally blood, sweat, and tears, and it feels like your baby. And to do that and, and to let this be my debut, it's a dream come true. I couldn't even I couldn't imagine it. I couldn't write a better story than this for myself. I get to play Campbell, and she is very very passionate about what she does. Uh, I was in her shoes, you know, in high school. For me, as a musical theater kid, it's it's what I wanted. Um, and and she gets to do, uh, go through this amazing journey and learn so many lessons. Um, I love her and, and I am so, so thankful to be where I am right now. Play Randall, who is totally your anti-love interest in so many ways. Um, he is just too cool for school. He's so uh, into his music. He totally does his own thing, has his own vibe. So different from everyone in the rest of the show. And he notices something in Campbell that's a little different. She walks through the metal detectors and they go blaring off and um, he sees that she isn't easily knocked over and when she is challenged by the queen bees of her new school she challenges them right back and he kind of takes her under his wing and teaches her the ways of Jackson High School um, and is there for her as she uh, grows up and matures a little bit. I play a girl named Ava Darlington and I don't want to give too much away but she has some talents that people don't see coming <laughs> and it's just so satisfying to do so many different sides and the emotional arc is incredible in the show, I feel like I'm so lucky to be able to show all those colors. You know, when they, they came to me and said, will you helm this project, I said to them, just know I'm going to choreograph a huge dance show and I'm going to just direct the choreography. And so uh, from the very beginning, we knew it was going to move, 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 like uh, dancing was never going to stop. And that's where I felt comfortable as a director because this is my debut as a director. And so, you know, the cheerleading world brings us so many more possibilities of physicality. You know, we joke that it's like, 3D dancing now because we can fly through the ceiling and so that's a brand new thing to pull to the table and it, and it just gives us so many possibilities and that's the other great thing about the composing teams they make very different choices so from number to number we can do so many different kinds of things which is great. Um, being in the room with Alex Lacamoire, Lin-Manuel Miranda, Tom Kidd, Amanda Green and them turning to me asking me for my opinion and just knowing that you know I have validation in, in my opinion and they, uh, they understand that and they love that. And also working with Andy Blankenbuehler, just, you know, letting him releasing the reins on me a little bit and letting me live a little bit more. And the creative team and Andy Blankenbuehler and Alex Lacamoire, they've just helped me, you know, not only as a performer, but as a person. And I'm, I'm really thankful that I've, I've had them with me along this journey. I also love the stage door and seeing all the little girls because that was me, you know, a few years ago. And, and it's so great to see that I can make a difference and, and make them feel special, just like I hoped the lead of a Broadway show would for me. I'm not in on It's All Happening, but I watch it every night because it's so real and so true. That sounds so sappy, but the creative team came together, people who had worked together in In the Heights, you know, and I listened to in the, It's All Happening the first time and I thought, this is what Lynn thought. Imagine the lights, imagine people, imagine us. Like, let's build something together. I just think about In the Heights when I listen to It's All Happening, and now it's a new show and a new project and new kids. We're kids, and we're doing this with some, it's like they're Olympians of musical theater. Tom Kitt and Amanda Green and Lynn and Alex and Andy, Jeff Witte, these are the Olympians of musical theater, and this is what they created when they got together and worked in, in a room for two and a half years, and I dare people not to be impressed. 
audiences have probably fallen in love with our show because it's what they don't expect. You walk in to bring it on and you think, oh, it's another musical based off of a film, but this is different. It has the franchise name, but it's it's got heart. It's got something that you don't see coming from a mile away. And Andy Blankenbuehler's choreographer is, or choreography is pure eye candy. It's really fabulous. Audiences, I feel, will love the show and do love the show because it's stuff they've never seen before on a Broadway stage, or any stage for that matter. You can go get cheerleading at a cheerleading competition. You can go get theater on Broadway, and this is combining the best of all worlds. It's pretty awesome. The, the characters have heart, they've got soul, and you know people don't expect that with a cheerleading musical, I think. You know, they're, they expect the cheerleading, which is amazing. And then they come and get you know characters that they can relate to, which is so awesome, which I love. I think that these characters are kids that you uh, care about, and, and you want to get to know them. And I think the music is just so well written, and it's just smart and fresh and exciting, and I think audiences really respond to that. I really feel in a strange way, Bring It On is so much about our experience of working on the show, like what the lead character goes through in, in relation to her want is what our want is for the show. And then it goes through all this other stuff and then she comes out just saying, I want it to be awesome and like artistically valid. And, and that I think is the journey for me of this, this experience. We are